Tyson's conditioned to agree to 245 million mega fight with Jake Paul. Uncle Mike, I think we can make more than 245 million dollars, brother. Sign the contract, big boy! Sign the contract! Mike Tyson issued a significant warning to Jake Paul before their highly anticipated clash. Tyson has begun his training camp, where spectators were impressed by his remarkable hand speed and formidable power. The video shows Tyson in a rigorous training session with his coach, Rafael Cordero, focusing on pad work and improving his stamina. The video ends with Tyson delivering a chilling message directly aimed at Paul, instilling a sense of dread in viewers. Additionally, Tyson has recently shared another ominous warning for Paul. Day four, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of war. And get ready, baby. During a podcast episode with Joe Rogan, Mike Tyson discussed a confrontation he had with Jake Paul. Tyson recounted encountering Jake Paul, noting that they were in the same area, essentially sharing the same space. This happened while Tyson was on someone's boat, where Paul also appeared to be. The Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao was big, but culturally, you versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. I love that. Sounds good. Hey, oh everybody, my listen. God. Continue, Are you listening to this? <laughs> if he's willing to do it, you know how crazy it is if he's listen, willing I to do Jake it. I saw Jake Paul. I was in St. Bart's. I was in St. Bart's, and I was, I don't know who you, yeah, I was on somebody's boat, and he was. Rogan responded by pointing out the potential magnitude of a fight between them suggesting that such a fight would be significant due to the widespread interest it would likely attract. In response to this, Tyson expressed his enthusiasm, indicating his willingness by suggesting they proceed with the idea. His brother's great too. Logan's a really nice guy. But my point is, that fight would be gigantic. Because first of all, everybody would want to see what? Let's do it, Jakey! Campbell Hatton has voice concern suggesting that the training clips featuring Mike Tyson may have led fans astray, fostering a belief that Tyson is fully equipped to face Jake Paul in the ring. He proposes that the footage is being strategically employed to justify the fight. Hatton said people are getting carried away because Tyson looks incredibly formidable in training videos, but people are justifying the fight based on his training prowess. Hatton underscored the importance of considering Tyson's age, highlighting that despite his formidable punching prowess, enduring rounds of combat and absorbing blows at 57 presence a formidable obstacle. He expressed concern about the possible adverse impact Tyson's loss could have on impressionable young fans who have been enthralled by his training clips. Hatton cautioned that if Jake Paul knocks him out due to Tyson's age and diminished resistance, it could mislead young fans. It might give the wrong impression to newcomers who've been introduced to boxing through YouTube. On the other hand, Jake Paul has also responded to Tyson's warning. As Tyson questioned him if he still wanted to fight with him, Paul was quick to respond. He tweeted, yes, yes I do. Paul will step into the ring against Tyson, riding a wave of three consecutive victories, with his latest two triumphs earned against lesser-ranked opponents in the professional boxing circuit. In a recent interview, he said, I can't believe it. It's surreal to me. I'm still trying to process and comprehend it. When we faced off for the first time afterward, I started laughing. I stepped away and was like, bro, what the heck is going on? Now that Tyson and Paul have faced off with a fight announcement, everyone is asking about when the official press conference will be. While there are still no official comments on it, insiders reveal that we may see it anytime next month. However, until then, we can enjoy all the warnings and training videos coming from both Tyson and Paul. Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. No problem. Saturday, July 20th. See you there. Upon learning about the match between Tyson and Paul, Oscar De La Hoya expressed concern for Tyson's safety going up against a much younger opponent like Paul. 
The CEO of Golden Boy Promotions was against the idea of Tyson confronting an opponent three decades his junior. De La Hoya said, I have been preaching since the beginning with Jake Paul that he actually can do it. He can get a world title, but only if he takes a different route. This route, going up against Mike Tyson, is not just the right one for me. He discussed the advantages and disadvantages of a Tyson versus Paul matchup while suggesting that Paul pursue an alternate path to become a world champion. De La Hoya also expressed confidence in Tyson's potential to defeat the problem child with a knockout. He added, I mean, Mike Tyson's 60 years old, Jake Paul's what, 26, 27, if Jake Paul wants to take boxing seriously. Take the route that all the other fighters take. Tough fights up the ranks. Top 10 fighters, top five world champion, not this route with Tyson. In another interview with ES News, Oscar stressed that Mike Tyson faced formidable opponents during his prime. He said, Tyson still has the punching power. The last thing to go till you're in your grave, basically. Yeah, Tyson catches him with a good one. It's obviously lights out for Jake Paul. In this connection, while Oscar did not completely turn a blind eye to Paul's chances of winning, he said, But that's if he catches him? I was studying the Roy Jones-Tyson fight the other night, and Tyson was actually doing great. Tyson, appearing in prime condition ahead of his exhibition match with Jones in 2020, hasn't shied away from expressing his thoughts on Paul's journey in the boxing realm so far. As far back as April 2022, he weighed in on the 27-year-old's bold move to enter the squared circle. Tyson said, I love the fact he jumped into the game. People don't understand that boxing needs that. At this stage in boxing, the greatest fighters are not fighting each other. Boxing needs a guy like this. Reflecting on the occasion this week, Jake Paul fondly recalled his expedition. He said, it's crazy to think that in my second pro fight, I went viral for knocking out Nate Robinson on Mike Tyson's undercard. Now, less than four years later, I'm stepping up to face Tyson myself to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and biggest icons. Tony Jeffies, the former Olympic boxing medalist who has since become a coach, is keen to share his extensive boxing knowledge. Tyson's last professional fight was nearly 20 years ago in 2005, although he did have an exhibition fight with Roy Jones Jr. four years ago, where Jake Paul, on the other hand, has been having fights regular, keeping active, training as good, if not better, than most professional boxers. Tony was posed with a hypothetical scenario. If boxing legend Mike Tyson were to challenge a younger fighter, how would he respond? Jeff, in a thoughtful and sincere manner, shared his perspective. Tony believed that Tyson had nothing to prove, and if things went awry, he'd be remembered by the younger generation as the old boxer knocked out by Jake Paul. Jeff's contemplation didn't stop at Tyson's legacy. He shifted to the fight's implications for Jake Paul. He noted that this fight presented a significant opportunity for the younger contender, stating, I think this fight is great for Jake not Mike. Steven Jackson, known for his candid views, expressed concerns about the upcoming bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. He admired Tyson but didn't want him to risk his legacy against someone like Jake Paul. Jackson hinted at potential repercussions, indicating, if he knocked Mike Tyson out, I'm just telling you somebody's going to wait outside and hurt him for real. UFC's Johnny Walker had surprisingly positive views on the matchup considering it a smart marketing move. Walker believed both fighters would benefit financially from the fight, especially Mike Tyson, whom he felt deserved it. He predicted it would be an exhibition fight. Former world champion Amir Khan predicted a victory for Mike Tyson, citing his legendary status and powerful presence. Khan expressed concern for Jake Paul, emphasizing the risk of facing someone like Tyson. He questioned the rationale behind Paul's decision to fight Tyson, fearing he could get seriously hurt. Khan also questioned whether the fight would actually take place, expressing amazement and uncertainty. Despite his doubts, he predicted a knockout win for Mike Tyson, highlighting Tyson's enduring danger and prowess even in his 50s.
Mike Tyson has finally reacted to the recently leaked training footage of Jake Paul, and it appears that Tyson has a serious message for Paul. Paul's the only white boy I know that the white boy is hating. I, I actually gained a lot of respect when we sat down with Jake. I yeah. respect him. He's doing his job. He's putting on his, his shine. This is act. This He's is trolling job. people. His job yeah. is to yeah, f*** people off, you, right? I, I mean, you would it'd be big. Jake Paul the fuck yeah, out? Listen, they're, they're not real fighters. They're exciting fighters. So we know that Tyson and Paul are set to engage in combat at the esteemed AT and T Stadium located in Arlington, Texas. Reacting to the fight, Derek Chisora said on Radio Rahim, I know for a fact they are using 18-ounce gloves and head guards if I'm not mistaken. I think so, so we're watching a sparring match. It's a joke. You think I'm paying to watch that. On the other hand, Paul has recently released a video responding to the backlash surrounding his bout with Tyson. You're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson? Imagine this. Jay. We got the biggest deal ever, you versus Mike Tyson, live on Netflix. You're gonna entertain millions of people and make an unbelievable amount of money. What do you think? Nah. Exactly, that's what I thought. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson has expressed his anticipation for the match against Paul, stating he is very much looking forward to the bout. In addition, Tyson has leaked new sparring and training footage of himself. Moreover, Tyson acknowledged Paul's considerable growth as a boxer over the years and expressed enthusiasm about the clash between the younger fighter's will and ambition and his own experience and skill. Tyson added, It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch, as I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. Meanwhile, Paul acknowledged Tyson's status as the greatest heavyweight of all time and the most vicious knockout artist ever. However, he emphasized his own advantages, noting that he is younger, faster, and committed to working extremely hard to become stronger. He said, he's the greatest heavyweight of all time, the most vicious KO artist ever, but I'm younger, I'm faster, and I'm going to be working my ass off to get stronger. Jake Paul also mentioned that a team member had shown him a video posted by Tyson's coach two weeks prior, questioning whether he was certain about proceeding with the fight. Paul affirmed his decision, reiterating his readiness and determination to compete in the heavyweight category. Paul added, A member of my team sent me this video that Mike's coach put up two weeks ago and asked me if I'm sure that I want to do this. Yes, yes I do. In addition, Paul also shared his intense training footage. On the other hand, KSI finds Jake Paul's actions unimpressive. Tyson symbolizes a resurgence for Paul amidst ongoing scrutiny for choosing opponents past their prime in MMA. While his recent matches involved journeyman boxers in smaller venues compared to his earlier bouts, facing Tyson promises a significant shift in scale and challenge. KSI said, Honestly, I just think it's sad. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Literally, he knocks out Mike and he's beaten. What? An old age person? Mike Tyson is 57 years old? Yes, in his prime this would have been crazy, but now it's like, this is just sad. KSI elaborated that if Jake were to knock out Mike Tyson, he would merely be defeating someone of advanced age, highlighting that Tyson is 57 years old, and while formidable in his prime, the current scenario is different. KSI further added, he's going to have so many people watching, millions and millions. Everyone is going to know him as the guy who knocked out an old Mike Tyson. But imagine if he gets knocked out by Mike Tyson. Odds makers appear to dismiss the likelihood of such a scenario. Tyson finds himself heavily favored against Paul. This poses a significant concern for KSI as it underscores the purely theatrical nature of this event. KSI stated, 
I guess because legacy's my thing, I just feel like for Jake Paul, his legacy is going to be he can knock out old people. What's next though? Who is he going to fight next? Muhammad Ali, is he going to dig him up? In his discussion with KSI, Jake's brother Logan Paul mentioned that he'd been approached for a boxing match against Tyson as well. Albeit not for the same lucrative deal Jake Paul was offered on Netflix, he hinted that the substantial financial gain made it an obvious choice for his brother. I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul. <laughs> My Tyson is 57 years old. Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Everyone's gonna know him as the guy. That knocked out on all it, Mike Tyson. At his age, if you get hit by one solid Turn Jake Paul prune, punch, prune juice. you're prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. Anything can happen. Jake could literally walk out without an ear. Like, bro, he's... <laughs> the funny thing is, Evander Holyfield followed me. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I said, nah. Not enough ears? No, I'm not. <laughs> KASI, on the other hand, sees things differently. A massive feud continues between Jake Paul and KSI, with its roots deeply embedded in their boxing involvement. While Paul seeks recognition within traditional boxing circles, KSI fully embraces the influencer boxing sphere. He has even gone as far as creating his own Misfits boxing promotion. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson has given a glimpse of his gym training sessions, signaling his comeback to the ring. Though decades have passed since the 59-year-old boxer Tyson dominated the ring, his iconic status remains cherished by millions of fans worldwide. The excitement surrounding his comeback has grown with the release of a new training clip. In a recently unearthed video, the six-time world heavyweight champion exuded dominance as he unleashed powerful punches, maintaining an admirable rhythm throughout. Displaying his seasoned expertise from 58 fights, he appeared in top form, delivering a captivating performance. Approaching his 58th birthday, Tyson's remarkable physical condition deserves recognition. However, stepping into the ring against someone 30 years his junior, like Paul, presents challenges far beyond mere workouts on the punching bag. Experts express apprehension for Tyson's safety should he proceed with the bout in Las Vegas. Frank Warren, Tyson's ex-promoter, has reiterated this sentiment. Warren recently stated in an interview with TalkSport, First of all, I like Jake Paul. I like him a lot. He's a great promoter, and he's done well for a guy that's come from his background. But a 58-year-old man? Do me a favor. Warren expressed reservations about a match involving a 58-year-old man, referring to Tyson, suggesting that such a bout should not be happening. He also commented on the surprising developments in the current era and the substantial earnings generated by such events. Warren added, it shouldn't be happening. Having said that, some of the stuff that comes on in this day and age, I can't believe how it's coming about, but it does. And these guys earn a lot of money from it. He conceded that if the fight is adequately medically supervised and staffed with competent officials to ensure fighter safety, he wouldn't outright criticize it. Despite this, he made it clear that personally, he has no interest in the fight. Warren further added, if it's properly medically supervised and they've got some decent officials in there, and at times they can be protected from themselves, then who am I to criticize it? But for me, it's not something I have any interest in whatsoever. Meanwhile, former UFC star Nate Diaz was quick to predict the outcome of the upcoming boxing match between Tyson and Paul, despite initially dismissing the question with, I don't give a expletive. 
He later told Inside Fighting that he believes Tyson will be the one to have his arm raised in victory at the end of the fight. Everyone wants to know your take, man. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, who you got? I don't give a fuck. Not no, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson all day? You're the man. In the press release announcing the fight, Jake Paul's manager, Nikisa Badarian, made a statement regarding the upcoming bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. He described the match as a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup and expressed hopes that it would become the most watched boxing event in modern history. Badarian stated, Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson is a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup and we hope it will be the most watched boxing event in modern boxing history. Additionally, Badarian mentioned the partnership with Netflix as a unique chance to broadcast the fight globally on an unprecedented scale. He emphasized their commitment to delivering this significant clash between two of the biggest names in sports, adding, Partnering with Netflix presents an unparalleled opportunity to bring Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson to the world on an unprecedented scale, and we look forward to delivering this incredible clash of two of sports' biggest names. Overall, as the fight date approaches, all eyes will be on AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, where the contrasting paths of Tyson and Paul will collide in what promises to be one of the most intriguing and debated events in recent boxing history.